Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of matrices. So we have been given a matrix and we are continuing our series of questions on JWE advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2011. And if I talk about the question here, we have been given a matrix that is A, B, C. And the other matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix which has the terms 1, 9, 7, 8, 2, 7 and 7, 3, 7. So this is the second matrix and this is equal to 0, 0, 0. So this is an equation E which is given to us. And further we have been given an equation or a question that says omega is a solution of the equation x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 and we have been told that if a is equal to 2 and b and c satisfy e so basically b and c satisfy this entire equation that is given to us then we have been asked to find the value of our expression and the value of the expression we have been given to is 3 by omega square plus 1, sorry, omega A plus 1 by omega B and plus 3 by omega raised to C. So we need to figure out the value of this expression here and there are four options given to us. So the four options are minus 2, 2, minus 3. So these are the four options also given to us. We need to figure out which of the four is the correct one. Let's see how do we solve this. So if I try to solve this expression of matrix, what I get from this expression is A plus 8B plus 7C. Next expression we have here is 9A plus B plus 3C and 7A plus 7B plus 7C. This matrix is nothing but equal to 0, 0, 0. So this is given to us. So we have three equations of linear type that is A plus 8B plus 7C is equal to 0. Second expression we have here is 9A plus 2B plus 3C is equal to 0. And the third expression we have here is 7A plus 7B plus 7C. So if I try to reframe this, I can divide throughout by 7. I get A plus B plus C. So what I'll do is I have three equations with me. 1, 2 and let's say this is my third equation because we have reduced this form to this. So these are the three equations. If I try to solve these three equations and get the values of A, B and C, we have already been told that A is 2. So if I try to find B and C first, so if I put A as 2 in the equation 2, my new equation becomes 9 into 2, 18. 18, if it goes on the other side, becomes 2B plus 3C is equal to minus 18. Here, if you see, B plus C is equal to minus 2. So if I make the coefficient same here, let's say if I want to make the coefficient of B same, I'll multiply B throughout by 2. So on both sides, I'm multiplying by 2. The equation becomes 2b plus 2c is equal to minus 4. If I subtract this, the equation, this gives me c is equal to minus 14. So from here, I get c as minus 14. If I substitute c as minus 14 in this equation, b becomes minus 2 minus c. So minus 2 minus minus 14. So minus 2 and plus 14, that is 12. So you get B as 12. Once you have B and C, if you put it in the equation 1 with the value of A, two, let's understand if this satisfies this. So if I put A's value, it is 2. Plus 8 into B, B is 12, 12 is 96. 
and plus 7c, so 7 into minus 14, that is minus. I get that as equal to c. So I understand the values of a are correct, which I have got, because a, b, c satisfy three equations, a is 2, b is 12, c is minus 14. Now let's try to figure out the value of the expression that is given to us. It says 3 by omega a, 1 by omega b, and 3 by omega c. And we have been told that this omega is nothing but the solution of the equation x cubed minus 1 equal to 0. So omega should satisfy this equation. So if I put x as omega, my equation becomes omega cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. If you see this, you get this as a cube minus b cube, which is a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 0. From here, we get the idea that omega square plus omega plus 1 is also equal to 0. Or from this, I also get the idea that omega cube is 1. So whatever powers we have, we'll try to cover it in terms of omega cube first because it is 1 directly. So if I substitute these values I have here, 3 by omega square, 1 by omega raised to 12, and 3 by omega raised to minus 1. So if I try to solve this, you get 3 upon omega square. It is nothing but, if I write, I know omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0. So omega square becomes minus omega minus 1. So if I write this instead of omega square minus omega minus 1, omega raised to 12, I can write it in terms of 3, so I will write that. So 3 raised to 4, so that becomes 1 raised to 4, that is 1. And here it gives me omega raised to 14 if I take it on the upper side, the reciprocal of that. So if I try to solve this, what I get is, if I am taking minus common, the below denominator becomes omega plus 1. You get here 1 upon 1 raised to 4, that is 1 again. And the last part you have here is 3. Omega raised to 14, I can write as omega raised to 12. So, if you solve this, you get minus 3 upon omega plus 1 plus 1. Plus 3. Omega raised to 12, we just figured out in the second expression also, I can write this omega raised to 12 as omega cube raised to 4, which is equal to 1 raised to 4, which is 1. So you get this expression as omega square. Now if I try to solve this, minus 3, I want to take the same denominator for everyone, so omega plus 1 I'll take for everyone. I get this as 1 into omega plus 1, plus 3 omega square. If you solve this, you get this as minus 3 plus omega plus 1 plus 3 omega cube plus 3 omega square. If you solve this expression, you get this as minus 3 plus omega plus 1 plus 3 omega cube. You already know omega cube's value that is equal to 1. So I, if I put that 1, I get this as plus 3. So minus 3 and plus 3, I can directly cancel out. And I have here plus 3 omega square. Denominator, I have it as omega plus 1. Now, we already know omega plus 1. Omega plus 1, or I can write omega square also as minus omega minus 1. So if I just substitute this omega square, instead of omega square, if I write that as minus omega minus 1, your expression becomes omega plus 1 minus 3 omega minus 3. So you get that, that as divided by omega plus 1. If you solve this, you get minus 2 omega minus 2. If I take minus 2 common, you have omega plus 1. So omega plus 1 gets cancelled from both sides, you get the answer you are asking. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, where it includes the concepts of matrices as well as complex numbers. So complex cube root of unity that was given to us, which was omega.
And if you see the option that matches here to give us answer is minus 2 is A. So A is the correct answer for the expression which is asked to us. So we found the answer for the expression and the answer came out as option A which is minus 2. So first we figured out the three equations. We solved the three equations. We had A equal to 2. We found B and C. We substituted those equations B and C in 1 to see if they satisfy the three equations. We found that is equal to 0. So I got A 2 B 12 C minus 14 satisfying the three equations. Once I got that, I just put the values of A, B, and C in the expression for which we have been asked the value. So if I just find that out using the complex cube root of unity expression, which was omega cube is 1 and omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to C. With this too, we got the answers here. Then we got it, we got that as minus 2. And if you see the option that matches here in this case is A. So A is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how do you solve this type of questions. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. We'll be continuing off a series of questions on JWE Advanced. So please do like and share with this with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWE Advanced. Also, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.